Welcome back to Pink Aura Tarot. My name is Z. This is a general love reading for all Aries for December 2019. Keep in mind these messages are very general. They may or may not resonate with everyone. Please do not make it apply to your personal situation. If you would like to book a personal with me, all you have to do is just email me. All of my info will be listed down below in the description box. So Aries, the first card that you guys have is Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Then you guys have finances and career. Your um, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Then you guys also have unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this to keep this relationship going. And then you guys have make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So with this Aries, and also too at the bottom of the deck, you guys have engagement. Um, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. And then you guys have let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally. So with this Aries, for some of you guys, somebody, either you Aries or maybe someone that you guys were dealing with in the past. Um, it's like someone wants to reconcile with you. So this could definitely be someone from your past. Um, but it's like someone doesn't want to reconcile because maybe their finances aren't where they would like them to be, or it's just that they're really focused on their career or their, um, <clears throat> excuse me, their finances. Somebody's focus is not on love. So I feel like this would make it an unrequited love situation because someone's not interested. They're not attracted. There's like, they feel like it's no chemistry possibly with someone, but I, I feel like this message is saying to make the effort towards this reconciliation or this person. I'm sorry if you hear like banging. It's like a trash. I guess it's trash day. So yeah, it's like someone wants to, someone needs to make the effort. Um, This person could be coming back. I feel like this person could be coming back to possibly propose. Or it's like this person wants commitment with this engagement card. But it's like someone's focused on their finances. They're not, their focus isn't on love. And it could be, um, I mean, for some of you guys, you could just not be attracted to this person. But with the make the effort, maybe this person is trying to make the effort um, towards giving you some sort of commitment. Give me one for reconciliation. Yeah, so we have the Eight of Swords. And then we have the Magician card at the bottom of the deck. So somebody definitely wants to take action towards reconciliation. I feel like you, Aries, you might be just focused on your finances or your career. You may not be interested in reconciling with anyone. We have the Eight of Swords. Yeah, somebody definitely does not want to reconcile. Maybe something happened in the past with this person. Give me one for finances and career, please. Yeah, so we have the Nine of Swords. So this is definitely someone like worried about their finances or their career. And this could be you, Aries, want to reconcile with someone, but it's like someone, um, somebody may feel trapped in a situation. And they could just be worried about the, um, wanting to reconcile with someone. Give me one for unrequited love. Somebody is like really worried about their finances here. Their finances are their career, or both. Give me one for unrequited. I'm not going to take that one. I didn't even ask the question. Give me one for unrequited love, please. So we have the Emperor card. So I feel like this is you, Aries. For some of you guys, you were like really, you could have your own business with this Emperor card. Like someone's really focused on their um their career. Or some of you guys could be dealing with someone that owns their own business with this emperor card. Um, but with this unrequited love, it's like someone is very just like, they're just focused. 
on their work or their business. And then we have the Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So this person could be trying to communicate with you. Give me one for make the effort. Give me one for make the effort. Okay, so yeah, this is definitely dealing with someone's like work or their career. So we have the Eight of Pentacles. So it's like... I feel like this is like more so you Aries. You're like really focused on your work. Or this is just saying like work on making the effort um, with this person. It's like allow. It's like someone may be thinking that they don't have time to be involved with someone. But it's like make the effort. Like just work on the partnership. But it's almost like someone has their back turned towards love or um, reconciling with someone. Give me, um, what's the Eight of Swords? What's the Eight of Swords? Yeah, so we have these Seven of Cups. So someone's definitely, like, confused, um, about this situation, about this reconciliation. Someone's definitely confused. For some of you guys, this person could have been dishonest in the past. Someone's definitely dishonest in the past. So maybe that's why you don't want to reconcile with this person. What's the Nine of Swords? What's the Nine of Swords? Okay, so we have the King of Cups. So some of you guys could be dealing with the water sign. And then we have the Four of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like you could be just focused on your um, stability, um, Aries. Some of you guys could have been dealing with the water sign. This could be the water sign that is worried about their finances. It's like someone wants to reconcile really bad, but it's just like some um, their work or finances could be a blockage here. What's the emperor? So yeah, um, we have the full card. So this is definitely your energy, Aries, with this Emperor card and the full card. You're not, you may not be attracted to this person or it's just like you guys don't have any chemistry anymore. There's just not enough attraction or chemistry. What's the Eight of Pentacles? Okay. So we have the Ten of Wands with this Eight of Pentacles. So somebody, this could definitely be you, Aries. It's like maybe you have a lot of uh, responsibilities when it comes towards your work or your career. But it's almost like someone's work is a burden also too. Or maybe they feel like um, making the effort towards this connection is too much of a burden. Maybe somebody doesn't want to work things out. But it's like, some, I feel like somebody wants commitment here. It could be the person that's coming towards you. What's engagement? And somebody could be trying to control the situation also too. So it's just like, let the situation unfold naturally. What's engagement? What's engagement? Okay, so we have the four of pentacles. For some of you guys, you may not want to. Um, we have the ten of swords at the bottom of the deck too. So, yeah, for some of you guys, you may not, it's like if this person was to come in and communicate with you about um, possibly wanting commitment with you, it's like some of you guys may not want to do that. Somebody's not going to move um, 
towards this person. So you could just be focused on your financial stability right now since you're like just more focused on work um, or your career. You might have just like a lot of things going on also too. But I feel like somebody does not want to move on this situation. What's the Four of Pentacles? Okay, so yeah, we have the um, Justice card. So this is definitely someone coming in. It's like somebody wants commitment. And I feel like this person may just be holding on to the connection also too. So this could be you or the other person. Some of you guys could be done with the Libra. But yeah, somebody definitely wants commitment. But some, something is a blockage here and it could be their finances or their work or it could be um, you, Aries. So let's see what we get for the angel answer cards. Okay, what messages do you have for Aries for this spread? What messages do you have for Aries for this spread? What messages? So we have abundance. What messages do you have for Aries for this spread? So this says, listen to your intuition. Abundance, listen to your intuition. So with this abundance, I'm thinking just money. Someone's like very focused on their money. I know abundance, abundance can be anything, but I feel like this is more so um, someone definitely um, just focused on their, their money. And with this, listen to your intuition. Maybe you guys are listening to your intuition about not reconciling with with someone. Give me one more for Aries for this spread. Yeah, so we have opportunity. And then we have success at the bottom of the deck. So definitely, some of you guys could just be waiting for another opportunity. Or it's like someone wants a, a new opportunity with you. Aries for some of you guys this could definitely work out for some people if somebody wants to reconcile with you um, maybe you should just make the effort towards um, reconnecting with this person so that could be for some of you guys but some of you are just like really focused on your um, your finances or your career so I'm just going to end the video right here feel free to like comment and subscribe and also make sure you hit the notification bell so you won't miss any readings